it has been uh, now more than 48 hours there is no internet in all over the bangladesh even though the mobile uh, signal is also um, very low and uh, yeah and the protest against the government we started from the student with their agendas uh, and then it spread out and went out of the control of the government and yeah the frustrations over the Bangladeshi young people generally yeah all they have been stored inside uh, within this uh, protest and this occasion it just coming out yeah the ruling political party I think they completely uh, they completely failed to understand the significant uh, disappointment of the young people and uh, you know so the development and the nationwide development and infrastructure all you can see but you are still unemployed you are still uh, not getting enough uh, opportunity to get government job so and there are many layers of frustrations and yeah and the ruling political party their uh, wing student party and yeah there are a lot of people are drowning the corruption and just making money so and it has been like 15 more than 15 years this one political party is ruling yeah and also the attitude yeah but the country is now in violence. I don't have any updates. I'm looking for international portal to get some updates and yeah, with using some apps to call landline, uh, ISD call, and even the sound is not clear. And, but I hope things will be better soon. And yeah, there were there were a lot of people already dead in this violence and yeah and maybe there will be a um, a resolution will come out from the high court maybe in Sunday morning at 10 Bangladeshi time and now uh, in Brussels it is close to 2 a.m. so yeah after four hours four hours from now there will be a high court read i hope there will be something positive in there and yeah this morning i heard a interesting and powerful quote actually from kenzo that uh, in the street we don't want peace we want justice so the violence it happened like from both sides from police and yeah but the responsibility should be taken by the government and they are responsible to also solve it and I don't know how we'll commit how the situation will be you know um, getting back to its position or something I don't know it is changed a new Bangladesh is emerging and apart from this uh, massacre student died student got killed by the police and there are many f yeah many places fire there was fire yeah and there are many conspiracies theories and that these and that is going on I don't know even how to process all of those all of those things yeah but you know in in this time in 2024 more than 48 hours in in the whole country there is no int internet it is it is a kind of phenomena you know worldwide this is i don't know how to see this act like
Wow, how can police just shot on the student's chest and killed him? How can this government become so ignored or has been ignored this matter for so long? Yeah, and there are many third parties with different political intention with the violence in their mind is joining from the undercurrent paid and yeah it had to happen actually government should have controlled it before this could happen and i don't know i don't know the things has changed and so many courageous and angry outburst of young people we have also seen we have also seen very systematic protest from the student we have seen it they have done something like i haven't seen in my life entire life it's such a big event a new a new bangladesh yeah we have to adapt from everyone's position we have to adapt we need a reform we needed it i hope we are going towards it but losing all this lives yeah it is getting too much it is, it is taking the nerve should not be that and the traumas it is creating and it will leave how we will deal with this the polarization between people and the government how do government will like go along with it and if they cannot then what will be the next outcome I'm feeling so suffocating being so far away from home. I don't know how to process. But I'm trying to really understand the whole thing. And also really praying for the lost lives lost brave student the student movements they are raising voice taking the streets and really maintain the protest systematically and the overall all the people general people are really getting attached in the name of supporting the student protest and this this phenomena wasn't so come i'm very much afraid of the situation and the future of it yeah my parents both are a bit sick now my father was really sick two days ago when he supposed to take uh, a, to the hospital from that time you know the internet uh, and the connection to phone was interrupted and i couldn't even <sighs> yeah i didn't have any updates since like not since like till um, up to a few hours then when i called in the isd call 
then i got to know that okay he and two of my friends were helping and they came from the protest actually to help me help my father to uh, go to the doctor's chamber but they couldn't do it that day and yeah so there are a lot of families actually are also in a very vulnerable moment the general people the trauma the fear the foreigner in bangladesh the yeah the sick people the people with low incomes the people who sell things in streets the, the students their future the parents of the students the parents the family members of those students who who lost their life in this protest the general portrait of police a ruling government party and their student wing they have completely lost the validation in people's mind in in a major way how will they get it back they called curfew they deployed army and the border guard but all the universities the public and private they all came together on the same issue and it was phenomenal it never happened i never seen it this kind of thing in bangladesh when i was talking with these with my friends here and kenzo was also talking about something that happened in france in 68 may 68 and one of my friend he was also talking about they had similar thing in italy few years ago yeah someone from croatia also told me something similar yeah this frustration of this youth regarding job the quota system you know the government policies the corruption inside and all these dark matters you know it has similar patterns and but how bangladeshi student faced it and i think yeah it was also a conflict of the the gap between the gap of like did a of a honest communication between the government and the students and and this and for this the government only can be responsible and is the attitude of you know being in the government for like years after years like the god kind of attitude that you know nothing matters it should be changed they should also adapt and reform reform their political party reform the government structure if you really want to reform after after this kind of incident it clearly shows something that we need it but will we able to understand it all together with the political parties and the students and normal people i don't think so i don't think it will happen soon i don't know and there are always big pressures of big countries you know the america the china india still my mind is not enough informed and processed um, so i cannot see the the whole situation i cannot analyze it completely i have i'm i'm i don't i don't know i'm just i need time to 
and before that it can be only my prayer that things comes you know a bit lesser violent and becoming normal and soon become normal and people should you know feel that it's an independent country is we are free we should and supposed to use our freedom of expression and i don't know i don't know the situation is not like that it will change overnight and no no i, I don't know i'm feeling a, a bit pressure in my chest for the last two days i don't yeah i have few deadlines here to do some some very important things but it's summer let night There is a cool breeze.